good morning from Pietra Galla here in Basilicata, southern Italy. Today I have something special planned. I asked you guys in the comments below to write me a little villages where your ancestor came from and I'm gonna visit two of the little borgos, the little villages and we're gonna start from Paterno here in Basilicata. It's about an hour drive from Pietragalla where I am right now and just look at the view this morning from Pietragalla. So that's the plan for today. We're gonna head to two villages uh, that you guys suggested. I've never been to those places, never heard of those places. I have no idea what's, you know, what we're gonna find there. Then I have one more surprise for you. So make sure you stick to the very end. Okay, let's go. Welcome to Paterno, a place I never thought I would visit. So let's check out Paterno. First thing I see is a board with the names of the recently deceased. And it really tells the story of these borghi in southern Italy. A generation unfortunately goes away, passes from this world, and the new generation is leaving these little towns in Basilicata are getting more and more empty. But this is Paterno. And look at this vintage sign. I really tried to understand where is the city center, ancient city center. I couldn't find any information on Google Maps. Hopefully there is one. Oh wow. There's a little river. A little stream in the middle of the city. That's cute. Look at that. The city sits on the slopes of this mountain, very beautiful green mountain, and from this mountain a stream is coming down. I already love, I love a city with water. I wonder how it is to live here in Paterno. That is a quiet life. Forno a legna. Let's see what they have in the forno. Aperto il forno. Salve. Buongiorno. Come vi chiamate? Mulino dei Sabori. Okay. Uh, and you see, guys, you have bread, you have pizza. Si? Pizza. pizza. Quella. Che cos'è? Ah, è una focaccia. Focaccia, sale origa. Bello. E posso avere un pezzo di focaccia o no? Sì, la taglio. Grazie. Grazie. E quelle sono... Ah, quelle sono dolci. Eh, dolcetti al burro. Sì. E c'è un centro storico in città? Non l'ho visto sulla mappa. Non c'è, no. Non c'è. C'è la piazza più avanti. C'è la piazza. Sì, sì, sì. Ok. Ciao, grazie. Buona giornata. Ciao, buona giornata. Okay, so we got ourselves focaccia from the local bakery. We're gonna find the city center, this is the main piazza, and enjoy a piece of uh, focaccia. It's pretty hot for late October. It's like, look at the sun, it's very sunny. But the location of the city is beautiful, surrounded by green mountains. Very pretty. That's for sure. It is strange that there is no Centro Storico. I've never seen a, like a city without a Centro Storico in Italy. It's pretty rare. I saw one bar, one bakery, not many people. I think it's the cutest house in the entire village. A little bicycle, flowers. And here you can take a good look at this little valley where this town is located in. Oh, another stream, guys. Look at this. So there's more than one stream passing through this village. Look at this nice little cute stream. It's cute. Oh wow, look at this abandoned house, guys. This is a glorious, I think, 19th century 
house just look at it some very very important people lived here you can tell and here in the the storage room below is where you would uh, put your animals your horses your donkeys your pork everywhere you turn in this little town you see those amazing green hills I think living surrounded by so much green it does make an effect of it on you I think the closest big city is Potenza and it's like an hour away we found the piazza we have a beautiful 19th century restored home and up there the church with its bell tower okay I think this is the old city center this is probably where the nonno of uh, my viewer used to live or the nonna one of those buildings this one is abandoned probably your ancestors did good by moving from here no offense to Paterno it's cute but uh, really nothing to write home about the view is amazing though of this valley well I only found this bench this is where I'm gonna enjoy my focaccia, I think. Just sitting in the sun. The only bench in Paterno. Oh Look at the focaccia they gave me. It's enormous. I was gonna eat all of this before lunch. But it's good. Okay. We ate our focaccia and now we can head back to the car and go to Auletta. So what did you think about Paterno? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, off we go. I stopped in the way to Auletta to check out a restaurant. Venosa. Let's check it out. Salve, posso? Sì. Da solo. Dove prendi? Prendi la verandina, se volete, va Cosa c'è? Ah, c'è un... Sì. Sì. Nice. So we passed from Basilicata to Campania. On our way to Auletta. And here we are in... This little restaurant right on the way. Let's see, from the menu, there is pappardelle with truffle, burrata e guanciale, this sounds delicious, e taglioni, kind of roughly cut pasta with funghi porcini, ravioli with bolognese, lasagna, it's like from the area, this area is pertosa, homemade pasta with pertosa white artichoke. Hmm, prices are really fair, guys. Six, seven euros for a primi piatti is a bargain if you compare it to Tuscany, where a primo piatto can go as high as even 15 euros, so like twice even the price. Cosa c'è del altipasto per tosano? Prosciutto, capocollo, soppressata, carciofini, bocconcini, di bufa. Ok. Locale, roba locale. Però Poi dalla, dai primi, quale, quale sia il più... Piatto tipico sono le cortecce mm -hmm. con i carciofi, carciofo bianco di pertosa. Sì, con è pancetta. Con la tinta di pancetta, sì. il carne di maiale. Sì. E un po' di prezzemolo all'uscita. Sono in bianco questo. Ok. Eh? Vanno bene? Sì. Quindi un antipasto, giusto? Sì. E una corteccia? Sì. Grazie, ve lo lascio pure. No, non ci vuole. No, okay. Grazie. Grazie. Order the most typical primi piatti. Pasta with artichokes and ham. When you travel in Italy, you find out a lot of surprises. So not one of the surprises I found out is that uh, here, right here, a kilometer from where I am, not far from Auletta, there are ancient caves. Huge caves where you can tour inside, and uh, apparently, and they look magnificent. Now I'm not gonna go there right now, but they look amazing, those caves. Maybe one day I'll come back and visit them. And the only way I know about those caves is because on the way here I saw some side 
some signs on the side of the road. And then I looked it on Google Maps. Otherwise, I would never hear about those caves. And also this restaurant, Google Maps. In the middle of the road, I looked what's in the area. I saw good reviews. I dropped by. Of course, as always, links to all the locations and the restaurant and everything on the description below. Questa è tutta carne di maiale. Sì, sì. Ok, questo è rustico fatto in casa. Bello. Buon appetito. Grazie mille. Okay, so a plate of goodies. Again, sausages, all from the region. And uh, this pie they make here in the region. Yes, it's traditional. Look at this perfection. Mm. The eggplant is like sour a little bit, a little pickled. Sausages are amazing. This is some kind of a bruschetta with vegetables on top. So good. I really love those plates because you really get to taste all the variety of this region. Che bello. Un po' di formaggio? Si mangia col formaggio? Un po' di parmigiano, non si. ci sta male. Si, 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 si. Che bello. This looks amazing. Prego. Grazie. Carciofi della zona? Si, si, si. Un altro tipico del pezzo. I carciofi mm. vanno qui per i paesi di nitrofi a Pertosa. Mm. Carciofo bianco particolare, tenero, più saporito. Ok. Ok? Grazie. Prego. So guys, turns out this place is famous for the for the artichokes. Mm. Wow. Wow guys, the artichoke, like he said, saporati, full of tastes. Amazing, amazing dish, amazing place. And the view, not so bad either. Finished. It was delicious, amazing dish. Now I think I'm pretty full. Let's go get the check. Vado a pagare? Sì, si. Buonissimo. No, 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 grazie. No, no. 17 euros, guys, for two dishes and water. It's a good price. Grazie. Grazie mille, è stato bello. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Let's go check out a beautiful waterfall right here next to the restaurant and then we continue to Auletta. And also guys, the way here once you cross the border to Campania, boy is Campania beautiful. Campania if you don't know, it's the county of Napoli basically. And it's so beautiful, green mountains surround you, valleys to the very end, it's just beautiful. Here is a waterfall. Wow. Que bello. Que bello, que bello. Wow. So pretty. Welcome to Auletta. Here in Campania. Sitting on a hilltop. Looking glorious views. After this lunch, I'm actually feeling a bit sleepy and that means one thing un caffè here's a caffè salve mi fai un caffè? dov'è il centro del borgo diciamo? qua? allora poi la chiesa nostra e poi c'è il centro storico è qua quanto è il caffè? 80 come mai ho letto? perché i miei spettatori ho chiesto dove vado e mi hanno scritto e poi mio nonno è da questo posto, mia nonna da questo posto puoi andare a, a mostrarci il posto dove la nonna è nata ho capito, il tuo lavoro è questo eh sì 
è così, a turisti non ci vengono spesso. E sono alle grotte dei... per le grotte. Eh, sì. le grotte, sì. sì. I turisti qua vengono a agosto. Mm. Festa del carciofo, non so se. Ah, c'è una festa del carciofo? Mm. Ad agosto? No, 25 aprile al primo maggio c'è la festa. Perché la produzione del carciofo mm. si trova in quei quella sì. settimana, capito? Fanno la festa qua. Ah, ok. Se scendi giù c'è il carciofo proprio se cammini giù. Sì. A un angolo c'è un carciofo okay. grande. Ah. Cerco. Mm. Grazie mille. Niente bello. Ciao. Buon lavoro. Grazie. Ciao. Now we absolutely have to check out the big artichoke statue. This I must see. And then we'll go to hit the city center. But I have to see the artichoke. So in the end of April they have a big artichoke fest. The symbol of this region. I had no idea. E nonna e nonno. Sitting in the balcony. Salve! Una statua di, di un carciofo? Mi hanno detto che c'è? Più giù? Ah, c'è Grazie, ciao! Ok, we're in the right direction. Ah, l'ho visto! Ok, I see it. Oh, it's glorious. Oh, it's marvelous. The silver artichoke. Look at that. <laughs> Here it is, you know, it's glory. A piece of art symbolizes the thorn that's been filling this region for millennia and millennia. And it overlooks the most amazing view. Guys, look at that. That's Campania at its full glory. Just Glorious, glorious Campania. No wonder this nono and nonna now we're sitting, chilling at the porch with such a view. And it's time for us to move on to see the ancient city center of Auletta. And then I promised you a surprise. I remember. Aspetta, non ti sento un attimo. Stavi dicendo? Ok. Sì. Giuseppe Garibaldi. Ah sì? Sì, sì. Che è passato qua? Ha dormito qua. Ha dormito qua? Ok, vado a, a vedere. Voi siete na nate qua? Siete di qua? Voi? Sì, sì. Grazie, è un piacere. Ciao. Vado. So in this building, Giuseppe Garibaldi slept here in this building in the 5th of September 1860 Garibaldi which you know so many streets in Italy are named after him he is famous for uniting Italy and apparently he passed in Auletta here is the ancient castle every significant città here in Italy has one the noblemen who lived in this castle enjoyed a magnificent view. Really strategic place overlooking this simply gorgeous view, gorgeous, of Campania. Salve! Cosa? Cosa fotografate con questo? Faccio un, un filmetto sì. per, per YouTube. Ah, per YouTube? Sì. Previsto. Tu Previsto. sei di qua? Sì, abito qua. Come ti chiami? Montefusco Ciro, nato qua, a Tavoletto, in questa casa. In questa casa sei nato? Sì. Sempre vivendo qua? Sì, sempre. E come vivere qua, con questa bellezza? Si vive si bene. Sì? Sì. E, ma i giovani rimangono o partono? Partono. Cioè i miei figli che sono, stanno a Milano. È triste. Devo, è così. Devo contribuire anche io a, al mantenimento per la, perché quello che prende non ce lo fa. Quindi tu li aiuti esatto. lassù perché è caro vivere, vivere sì. là. C'è speranza? Co non, cosa succederà qua non, fra... Non c'è speranza, guarda. Rimangono solamente i vecchi. Quindi fra 20-30 anni sarà vuoto? 
ma no, vuoto proprio no, ma rimane giusto quello che... Che non ha scelta. Non ha scelta e ha, si è creato un, un lavoro in agricoltura. Prima mm. si campava con un pezzo di terra di un ettaro, due ettari, si campava la famiglia. Adesso ci vogliono 50 ettari per campare sì. la famiglia. Sì. Ah. E tu cosa facevi nella vita? Io lavoravo in ospedale. Ah, in ospedale come... No, come meccanico. Un meccanico, che, perché c'è un ospedale qui nella zona? Sì, a Pollo. Mm, bello. E adesso pensionato. Sì. E cosa fai in pensione? Mi diverto a aggiustare qualche macchina. Ah, come sì. quella? Sì, guarda. È una Fiat di... Una di, panda. Eh. Una panda di qual, quale anno? Mm, 88. 88. Posso dare un'occhiata? Sì, guarda. Ho fatto è rotta e adesso sì. provi a riparare. riparare che bello eh sì non si fanno così più le macchine no? Eh no. e questo è 4 su 4, 4 una Fiat sì. di, di, per eh, avventure sì. <ride> mi piace andare a sparaci a funghi ah vai a raccogliere? mi diverto sì non per vendere, né per, per, per mangiare uso sì. proprio. Perché... Sì, carino, carino. Signore, un piacere. Bravissimo. Sì. Grazie. Eh, È stato bello conoscerti. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Wow, this is pretty. Look at this ancient city center. Centro storico. Of Auletta. This is more my style. Real ancient city. So pretty. Look at this, guys. What's the future of those beautiful little villages? They will slowly become unpopulated. The old people will unfortunately die. The young will leave and nobody will stay. Or maybe, just maybe, some of the young people will come back. Look, this house also had Giuseppe Garibaldi stay here. We saw and experienced Auletta. Now it's time for the surprise I promised you. The surprise is about 45 minutes drive from here. Let's go there and uh, discover another amazing secret of Italy. Welcome to Paestum, a glorious Greek city from 1600 BC that once was, but now all that remains are three temples, three Greek temples. It's yet another secret. I bet if you don't live in Italy, and you're not an archaeology enthusiast, you never heard of Pastium. And uh, you might think to yourself, why is there a Greek temple in the middle of Italy, on the coast, an hour from Naples? Why? Well, Greek just came here. They came here 600 BC and settled here until they were co conquered and defeated by Romans. But what they left behind is simply mesmerizing. How, how did they build this? How? 600 BC. And this is where they, their city existed once. We're talking 2,600 years ago. And just look at the size of this city, which was originally named after Poseidon, the, the god of water, god of the sea. And here you can really see the layout of this ancient Greek city. You had the main street, just like today, a main street where all the hustle and bustle took place. And then you had little mini streets going out from the main street and in those streets you had the houses. You can really feel the weight of history. And this structure 
is where the city's founder, the founder of Posidonium, was buried. And this is the only burial place because all the rest were buried outside the city. But since the founder of the city held such high regard, he was buried here out of respect and respect. this place was never violated. And in it, you could find a lot of offerings in gratitude to the founder of the city. Everywhere you go, so much history. And this to me is what makes Italy so unique. Yes, this is where we're going. Can you see this marvel of a place we're heading towards? Just absolutely glorious. So this is the temple of Neptune. And it is enormous, guys. It is so big. It has been standing here for more than 2,400 years. Can you believe it? This place is unbelievable. Oh my god. You can go inside, you guys. Okay. So go inside. Wow. Oh my god. I can't believe they let you touch this. You can touch it. Just look at this. I don't know if camera can portray, really portray the might of this place. But it's just glorious guys, just glorious. It is here from the heart of this ancient Greek temple that I'm gonna beat you goodbye and finish this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed my adventures here in uh, southern Italy please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought and thank you so much for watching thanks for the support please share please like please hit the bell notification button please leave a comment down below it really helps and I'm gonna just you know soothe myself in this ancient piece of history enjoy it a little bit absorb it a little bit i'll see you guys on the next video thanks for watching ciao ciao